Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm doing your lunchtime reading today. Yay! This reading is for the collective, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? And thank you everyone for all of your support, all of the likes, all of my subscribers. A huge thank you, thank you to everybody. Um, and as usual, you know, I've got your fortune cookie to read um, at the end of the video. So stick with me, right? Anyway, let's see what's going on. Oh boy, somebody is a mess. What is this all about? Okay. Oh, okay. Somebody is finding out that you may have someone else coming into the picture, okay? That you could be starting a relationship with someone new. Some of you um, have just met someone new, right? Or for some of you, it's coming in the future, right? Very, very soon. So take it how it resonates with you, right? But your person is finding out about it. This is a person from your past. I'm feeling a lot of tears um, off of this person, okay? Um, they're an emotional wreck over this. You're closing out a cycle. You could be eating French fries for lunch. You could be having chicken strips and fries for lunch. You guys know this is the reading that I do for you that I can call out not just your sign, but what you may be having for lunch too. Yeah, somebody is, I feel like somebody came to this person and told them something about you. Okay, that you have met someone new. This is a new person. This is like the Page of Pentacles. Okay, uh, yeah, and you could be moving on. Your person could be a, a Cancer. You could be a Cancer. But somebody is um, somebody is telling this person it's making them nervous. They're having a major shakeup. Um, they're being told that you could be moving on to new love, or maybe that you're out here. You could be online dating right this is this could be you just out here dating meeting new people either way you're closing out a cycle with them and you're looking in a new direction you're looking towards new opportunities new people new connections okay and you're about to be in another commitment with somebody else like yeah see and you have this person blocked there's no communication um, I feel like, yeah, be, and be, it's because they were, um, they betrayed you. They were in a third party. They started a third party with you or something, right? I feel like you're cutting this person's energy out. You're tired of the no communication because this is also no communication. Um, complete and utter stagnancy. Oops, I'm sorry. I, I'm trying to move my legs around under the table. Sorry. Um, I feel like it's a stalemate. They're not speaking to you. They left you behind. They turned their back on you. They betrayed you. Um, and then they didn't come forward with any communication. So, um, yeah, you're looking for someone new. This is making this person an emotional mess. I'm telling you, they're trying to hide how they feel about you, though. But somebody's telling them and they're kind of acting like, uh, uh, whatever, whatever, I'm moving on to, you know what, no, this person is a mess inside. They could be doing a lot of crying by themselves. I'm just thinking this is exposure. Um, they may even be watching you online, whatever you're doing. You're in the star energy. You could be an Aquarius. But I feel like um, they may get confirmation of this watching your posts. Yeah, it's cast iron. I feel like um, it's this cycle is done. It's over with this person. And they are a wreck over this. Yeah, it's over. It's done. I feel like time's up on them. They may want to come back in now. This may be triggering this person to want to come towards you. But I feel like... This is the universe making a decision. Time is up. Okay, this is a cycle that's coming to an end, and the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. And when you get this new love um, in your life, it's, it's going to be it for this person from your past. Okay, because you're about to get an emperor. And this person 
has all the qualities in them that you want in a partner, okay? You could be you could be from the south. I've picked this up before. The same combination. You could be eating cornbread and and drinking iced tea, sweet tea for lunch today. Yeah. Yeah, you've got somebody new. Or you're going to have somebody new. Okay? And this person from your past um yeah, you, you, they're really upset about this, okay? But here's the thing, you know, yeah, you're about to have a very passionate new beginning. You could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe. But this is the yin to your yang. You're about to be in, um, in a commitment with someone. You may not know that yet, but it's coming in for you very quickly if you haven't already met them. They've been picking up on other people, this, this past person. I feel like they've been trying to find a replacement for you, or they've been out here a player. I feel like this person goes after younger people. They've met a lot of people, but nobody holds a candle to you, collective. They cannot shake this connection. Like, you are the perfect person for them, and they know it. But they were out here entertaining others, okay? Yeah, and now after hearing this news, this person's going to be hitting the bottle. Um, I feel like they may be getting drunk once they hear this. This is numbing, trying to numb the, drinking away the pain is really what they're going to be trying to do. Because I feel like this is where you start your new life. You know, and you're leaving them behind and they can't take it. They're a wreck. Yeah, you're leaving them behind. And I feel like your blessings are starting to roll in for you now. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune and this rolling ball here. Yeah, you've got a brand new cookie. I'm telling you. Yep, you got a brand new person here coming in. And you're, you're going to roll with it. You're going to go with the flow, right? You're just going to, um, you're going to try it, see what happens. And I feel like it's going to go smooth because you're actually with somebody who's vibing at your same kind of level. Yeah, this is, yep. Yeah, you're going to be choosing someone new and ending it with this past person. This past person is having a really hard time accepting this, okay? Um, yeah, and here you are. Um, I think maybe right now you guys could be single, and this new person is coming in. I'm telling you, that's why I'm getting so much on this new person, because I don't think you've met them yet, but you're ready. You're ready for love collective. You're, um, you're an empress in the minor arcana energy here building something, growing and nurturing something that's becoming very abundant, very successful. You're really focused on your abundance right now. Um, you're, you may not even be thinking about new love, but it's coming in. That's usually when it happens is when you're focused on other things, right? Um, so this may come as a surprise for you, right? But this is going to be a really good match for you. You could be eating pizza for lunch, tacos. You could be a Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Your person could be a Scorpio. They could be um, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see what else do we have here. Maybe a Gemini as well. Yeah. Yeah, I just keep seeing you being in a, a new soulmate connection. This person over here from your past, they're an absolute blubbering mess. I feel like they go out drinking, they're by themselves, they're hitting the bottle, they're doing a lot of crying, they're really stressed out. This is making them weak in the knees, their, their legs are buckling is what I'm feeling like. But you have a new soulmate connection here. Some of you are in your future. You're going to get pregnant. You're going to end up, I feel like you're going to end up committing to this new person. 
Like it's it's just a you know what it looks like to me is just this real cute, sweet, very sweet connection. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this person is very, very emotional. But this is the Ace of Pentacles. So you're having a new beginning, okay? You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on Virgo, Virgo energy. Yeah, I just get the sense that um, you're, yeah, and you're going to be like two peas in a, or two peas in a pod, two scoops in a cup. I'm telling you. <laughs> and it's coming in fast because I'm seeing this as a racetrack. So I feel like this new person is coming in very, very quickly. Okay. Oh, as who, who is this person giving them the scoop on you? Who is this person telling this person this information? Because I feel like somebody else is telling them this. Could even be somebody older than them. Yeah, I feel like this is someone coming in time. They may even elaborate on this. I don't know. I, sometimes I see this as a lies card, okay? So maybe they told them that you're already dating someone and you're not. I feel like people are just gossiping. Yeah, people are gossiping about you. The story is changing. The more, the more people that gossip, the more the story changes, right? And I feel like um, there's some things that are being said about you that are not true. Maybe they're already, they're being told that you are already in another relationship, but you may actually be out here single still, about to meet someone new. I feel like um, they're saying a lot of things about you, collective. Some of them are true, some of them are not. I feel like they've got some things twisted here. Okay, but it's like a Knight of Wands energy that comes in really fast, tells this person all of this stuff. They are telling them, though, that you are moving forward. You're moving on to calmer waters. That's exactly what you're doing. That part is the exact truth. Okay, and I feel like you are about to get somebody new here. You are about to be approached by someone new. So this person, they don't really know what to believe, but all of it, all of it is making them an emotional mess. Okay, yes, you are about to get someone new. They're going to be your main squeeze. I'm telling you, you may not see it yet, but it's about to happen. Okay, you could be having a, a hamburger for lunch. Yeah, I'm feeling heavy too. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Heavy on Aquarius. And Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Heavy on, on Virgo. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like this is where it ends. You know, this last connection, your ex. You really are turning a new page here. You're starting a new phase in your life. You're getting um, abundance. Maybe even some of you are getting a new job. Uh, you may even be making a house move. You're definitely getting new love here. You're definitely getting new love. And this masculine, your ex, they're already crying over it. Okay. All right. So let's, let's look into your fortune cookie. All right. Tomorrow is a good day for trying something new, I told you, collective. So maybe some of you will meet this new person tomorrow, okay? Um, that's for someone. It's very specific. But yeah, you do have this new energy coming in um, very quickly. So this, is, this could very well be pretty accurate. Um, tomorrow is a good day for trying something new. Some of you may have a date with someone tomorrow. And your lucky numbers are 4, 25, 36, 38, 40, and 49. Okay, if you guys um, 
add these numbers together, break them down, you know, numerology style, right? Look up that number on the internet, just Google it. Um, it'll give you the, the meaning of it, the spiritual meaning, right? It'll give you some kind of spirit message, um, maybe some, you know, guidance of what to do next. Okay, so check out your, um, your lucky number. Anyway, collective, get ready for this date. Get ready for this new boo that's coming in, okay, for real. Because they're coming in fast. And um, like and subscribe to the channel if you guys like this vibe. Join this awesome soul family. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.